problem. It leads us to the second problem. Make sure that you are not part of anything that is hidden in God's plan. Can you see in me that there is anything that is not of you? Change me, O oh God. There is no one, no one ever that has ever been denied access to repentance. There is no one beyond the redemption. The grace of God is sufficient for everybody. If everybody can have Christ in them, we will have a better country. If everybody will be aware that God sees everything that we do, no one escapes it, all, he's all seeing eye, we will live in a better country, making better people, making better relationships, reaching out, touching somebody, making this place a better place. Guess what? When Jesus stepped on the other side, what did the man that was possessed by demons do? He said, Jesus, Jesus, don't torment us. Do you know that the demons, they, they don't want to leave our bodies? They don't want to leave our houses. They even make a prayer and even use a, a, the name of Jesus. In verse 34, whoever wants to be my disciple must deny himself and take up his cross. Jesus is speaking these words as a response to what Peter has just said and done a few moments ago. But the words that Jesus is speaking are not really making sense to me because he says whoever wants to be my disciple must deny himself but he's speaking to his disciples and that says to me there's a problem here how can Jesus speak to his disciples that have been journeying with him for three years and speak and say whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves this says that perhaps there's a possibility that these people these guys have been disciples but they have not yet been disciples 